SSC, SSC Manila, Saint Scholastica, Saint Scholastica's College Manila. Oh, hi, I'm Juliana, a Scholastican Acolasa. And no matter how many ways the school is referred to, for an alumna like me, it will always be home. Join me as I take you around my alma mater, the home of blue and white and the home of women power. Tara? I'm here in St. Scholastica's College, Manila, o mas kilala bilang Saints ko. You will find SSC in one of the busiest districts in Manila. It is located in 2560 Leon Guinta Street, Malate, Manila. If you are a commuter, there are several ways to get here. One, LRT. Whether you are from the north or south, just ride the LRT going to Vita Cruz Station. And from there, it is just a 5 to 10 minute walk to Leon Guinta Street. Two, bus. Especially if you are coming from the southern part of Manila, such as Alabang, Las Piñas, Cavite, and Laguna. 3. Jeepney If you are from the north, there are jeepneys from QC to España to Buendia, which will eventually bring you again to Taft Avenue, corner V to Cruz Street. And 4. UV Express Kahit saan ka pagaling, there are UV Express shuttles available that you can ride that will also take you here. Just look for signages going to Buendia or Vito Cruz. When you enter the gates to the campus, you will be transported to a totally different environment. Saints Co. is one of the last few green spaces here in Manila. We have trees that are almost centuries old that have seen how our school has transformed over the years. So let me talk about my school's history for a bit. St. Scholastica's College Manila is run by the missionary Benedictine sisters of Tutsing. It all started when the first five German sisters arrived in the Philippines on September 14, 1906. Did you know where the first school of St. Scholastica was built? Samaryona Street, Tondo, Manila. Unang binuksan ng mga Benedictine Sisters ang pintuan ng paaralan ng SSC noong December 3, 1906. Back then, it was only a windowless wagon shed school with a total enrollment of 58 children. With this mission in mind, even at the onset of the school, they were able to accommodate 8 children from well-to-do families and 50 boys and girls as students in their free school. Within a year, in December 24, 1907, the sisters moved from Tondo to their new place in San Marcelino Street, where they occupied a lot donated by then Archbishop of Manila, Most Reverend Jeremiah Harty. Seven years after, in December 24, 1914, the sisters, together with their student boarders, moved to 1532 Pennsylvania Avenue, which is now known as 2560 Leon Guinto Street. So let me take you to some interesting places inside the campus that speaks more about our history as a school. Tara! If you are facing the campus from the Leon Ginto Gate, the first thing that will greet you is the St. Scholastica's Chapel. The monastic life of the Benedictines can basically be described through its practice of ora et labora. So this is the first stop in the morning before we start our day to pray and offer our day to God. This chapel was built in 1922, inspired by the Romanesque style. In the chapel is a wooden statue of Our Lady to whom many Scholastican brides have offered their bouquets. So here's another interesting fact. Not a lot of people know, but St. Scholastica's College Manila has three historical markers within its four walls. First, Last December 3, 2007, the National Historical Institute approved the unveiling of the historical marker commemorating the school's 100-year history. Another celebrates one of the iconic structures here in the campus, St. Cecilia's Hall as a premier music hall. And the last commemorates the birthplace of Jose Garcia Villa, one of our national artists for literature. This historical marker was installed in October 1999. 
The first building, named after the patroness Saint Scholastica, was built in 1914. The word Pax in bas relief is embossed above its arched foyer to welcome all the school's guests. Traditionally called the parlor, this is where the guests of the school are usually received by our sisters and administrators. On the big staircase landing stands a tall, welcoming statue of Saint Scholastica with a stained glass backdrop. Behind this door, is the Sacred Heart Courtyard. Running beside these two courtyards is an airy corridor with classic columns reminiscent of medieval abbeys. Or for our generation, parang Hogwarts corridors lang. And a little bit further from Sacred Heart Courtyard is St. Scholastica's Garden. And for our next stop, Welcome to St. Cecilia's Hall! Did you know that the architect of this magnificent structure is Andres Luna de San Pedro? He is the only son of the great Filipino artist, Juan Luna. If you remember, St. Cecilia's Hall is where one of the three historical markers within SSC is found. Considered as one of the last well-preserved Art Deco buildings in Manila, when I first saw it as a student, it took my breath away. Siyempre, dadalhin ko kayo sa loob. Tara! St. Cecilia's Hall was the premier concert hall of Manila when it opened. In 1999, the hall underwent an extensive restoration and renovation, which upgraded its facilities to become a world-class concert venue, reflecting the excellence of music education offered by the school. Several student-led activities, concerts, and institutional events are held here. College music majors and senior high school students majoring in the music performance track often choose this grand hall as the place to hold their graduation and moving up recitals. This is an iconic structure indeed. Kasha ang buong barangay! This is the St. Hildegard Building, an elaborately decorated building built by Cesar H. Concha. And this, this is the Social Hall, or as we like to call it, Sock Hall. Made with distinct huge columns and arches, the Social Hall is a place where you can study and interact with other students. It can also be converted to a mini-function hall for smaller events or student activities, gatherings, and performances. In 2017, the Social Hall was renamed as the Maria Fe Perez Agudo Center for Leadership Excellence. Today, it stands as the venue for leadership aimed at empowering young women to be future leaders. Speaking of empowering future leaders, let me tell you some of the exciting things that happen in these grand structures. As an all-girls school, one of the first things that you will notice is the strong sense of community spirit here in St. Sco. You will find helping hands and smiling faces so that you will feel most welcome and well taken care of. The learning and social environment here in St. Sco allows more opportunities to discover one's talents, leadership, and abilities. The school is grounded on its advocacies for women empowerment, education for justice, care for Mother Earth, and peace. Because of these experiences, naging kilala ang mga kalasas sa pagiging woke, ready to make a change in the world. We celebrate SSC Manila's community spirit through institutional celebrations that mirror our Catholic faith, the Misa ng Bayan, Living Rosary, and the Panunuluyan, a dramatization of the search for Bethlehem by Joseph and Mary right before the birth of Jesus Christ, which we celebrate in December. We also live out our advocacies through community gatherings like the celebration of the season of creation. 
the various symposia and truth-telling fora where we get to learn about national issues, thus helping us form informed opinions about them. And of course, the One Billion Rising Dance every 14th of February, where we dance with the whole world in solidarity for our fight to end violence against women and children. Speaking of the Scholastica and brand of education, let me tour you to the unit buildings where you will find classrooms and facilities where all the action happens. Our little sisters in the preschool unit are housed in this newly built Sister Gracia building, while our grade schoolers have their classes in the Santa Maria building. All classrooms and amenities have been tailored fit to our little sister to make learning conducive and engaging. In the Santa Maria building, you will find the St. Erentrudis Hall or the Little Theater, where every year they stage the Midsummer Night's Dream that highlight the use of drama and theater in education, which is part of the innovative learning and teaching approaches of the unit. They also have their music room, a reading and math center, and the Audiovisual Center. The St. Scholasticus building is the first building ever built in SSC Manila. This houses the Junior High School Unit. This building has a music room, an arts and crafts room, and a prayer room. While the St. MacTilde building are for our Senior High School Department. The Sister Lucy building houses their unit's library, audiovisual center, a culinary arts center, and the performance arts room. The St. Hildegard and St. Benedict buildings, on the other hand, houses our college and graduate school students. There are additional classrooms located at the St. MacDild and St. Otelian buildings that are specifically tailored fit for specialized programs. We have mass communication laboratories, studio arts rooms, food and beverage simulation rooms, food laboratories, psychology laboratories, science laboratories, computer centers, and audiovisual centers that help our students in their learning process, which is the best way to master your skills in your chosen field. Each unit also has their own learning resource centers and libraries. Behind me is the St. Cecilia's building where you will find the School of Music. It has practice rooms, studio rooms, and a rehearsal hall where popular OPM artists come and rehearse for their upcoming concerts. There's also the Corazon C. Aquino Hall that can accommodate 140 persons, making it an ideal venue for small programs and recitals. By the way, our School of Music is considered as CHED, Center of Excellence for Music Education which is something to be proud of for us Scholasticans. Welcome to the College Library. The College Library is considered as one of the outstanding libraries in the country. It was transferred to its new site from Santa Maria Building to the fourth floor of the St. Cecilia's building in 2011 and has a seating capacity of 248 students at any given time. It boasts of thousands of book collections with an admirable Filipiniana and Women's Studies collection. Its periodical section also carries online databases and print subscriptions that aid students in their coursework. Oh. And the music library is below it. The music library is also judged as the best music library in the country, having extensive collections of hard-to-find musical pieces and arrangements. Part of the music library is the music production room, utilized by our music production students in their coursework. 
if you ever find yourself feeling hungry, we have our own cafeteria where you can find quick bites and hot meals for breakfast and lunch. Our main school canteen or the Maryville Canteen is committed to providing healthy and organic options for food and beverages. Hi, we are here at the fourth floor of the Sister Otelian building which houses the Sister Asanto Filser Sports Center. It is beautifully decorated and fully equipped facility perfect for sports like basketball or volleyball. It can accommodate 378 people 202 in the upper bleachers, and 176 in the lower box. Although located in another facility, we also have an indoor pool which is used by our students for their classes and varsity trainings. We are the home of the proud SSC Scions, and this is where they would normally train to become proud Benedictine athletes. The varsity team of SSC Manila is named the SSC Science and is represented by the Blue Phoenix. Like a scion, the phoenix inherits the characteristics of its parent when reborn from the ashes. So we are almost at the end of the tour, pero hindi ibig sabihin nun wala na akong lugar na ipapakita sa inyo. There is one more place I will show you and that is... Right now, I'm at the Freedance House Hotel School that was established on July 26, 2012. Its name is German for a house of peace, a nod to our German roots. It is mainly a training school where students can learn about the various facets of running a hotel. Its amenities include a cafe, a bar, a spa, a large function area for events, rooms that can be used for small meetings, and gym facilities. It has guest rooms patterned after the emerging trends of boutique lodging. So, if you are majoring in our hospitality and tourism programs, you are sure to get real work immersions in your field through the Freedom's House Hotel School. These hallowed walls speak of more than a century of history. It unites the old and the new, the classic and the modern. It is home to all of us for those who chose to be a part of her story. My alma mater, a place I call home. Home of the blue and white, home of women power. This is St. Scholastica's College, Manila. So, Aren't you excited to discover what more she can offer?